I'm Sid Chimnaz, and welcome to my series on learning Python. I've always wanted to learn Python, so I asked my dad which is the best way to learn. My dad gave me all of these books, as you can see here. Books are great, but I don't want to just learn by reading. I would like to learn by experimenting and doing something, which is when the Robot Inventor 51515 saved me on learning Python. The Robot Inventor software supports Python, which is great because I get to build all sorts of robots and get to code them in Python. The first creation was this maze bot. The maze bot will solve maze. And that was my first Python program. Let's check it out. Here's maze bot, the first Python program I wrote. Here you can see Tricky from the Lego Mindstorm 5155 and Tricky is going to run the maze bot program. And let's see if Tricky can make it through this maze and set up where it says Python is fun. Let's see it in action. We started the program. And it looks like Tricky made it through the maze. Woohoo! Good job, Tricky. And now I'll explain the program I wrote for MazeBot. All right, here is the MazeBot program. First, let me show you how to create the Python program in the Lego Mindstorm 5155 software. Here you can click the plus, which will create a new project. And make sure to highlight Python so the software know that you want to make a Python project. But I'm not gonna do it right now because I have the MazeBot program right in front of me, as you can see here. If you haven't seen a Python program in the 51515 software, here it will come with all these libraries that, will, that we will use in the program. Here are some variables or settings to control the robot. And here we've defined some objects. Tricky is the Mindstorms hub, which for shorthand we call it MS hub. And the movement motors are the wheels for Tricky. And the distance sensor is the ultrasonic sensor, which we which will see some, a certain amount of distance. Here, this line says while true. While true is just one of the ways, and also the common ways, to create forever loops in Python. First, we will set the default speed, and then it will start moving forward. And then when the ultrasonic sensor sees a distance closer than six centimeters, it, it will detect it and stop. And then it will move a step back. Tricky will move a step back. And then it will turn 90 degrees to the left and measure the distance. And then it will move one, 180 degrees so it can turn to the right and measure the distance. And then whichever distance is greater, it will go to that distance. And then it will just go on and on like that in, in the while true forever loop. And that's the Python program. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe right over here so you can keep learning Python with me and become a Python master. Bye, everyone. I'll see you in my next video.